lesson. Hello, everyone. Today's lesson is going to be about the laws in the Old Testament. The Old Testament was before Jesus, and they lived under a covenant that God made with a guy named Abraham. They had different rules and expectations than we do now. Covenant means a really important promise. Covenants are made not to be broken. The first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, are the most helpful when it comes to explaining the old rules and laws that the people had to follow before Jesus came from heaven. Let's go see what we can learn. Today's big point is going to be, I am free in Jesus' name. Say it with me. I am free in Jesus' name. All the laws we are going to learn about today may seem crazy and silly to us, but that's because we live under a new covenant. When Jesus came to earth and died on the cross, we were given an opportunity to live freely in His name. Most people hear about the Ten Commandments at one point or another in their life. Even if you don't go to church, these commandments are pretty well known in the world. The Ten Commandments are pretty easy to follow for someone who was brought up in the church, but you'd be surprised how many people don't follow them when they don't have God in their life. Lots of people think that the Ten Commandments are the only commandments given to the people in ancient Israel. But there were actually around 600 commandments given to the Israelites in the first five books of the Bible. Wow, that's a lot of rules. I wonder how people manage to obey all of them. Well, the number of laws people follow nowadays on a day-to-day -day basis is a lot more than we'd think. People drive the speed limit with a seatbelt and license plates. Those are all laws that we've accepted as normal, so we don't even notice how many there are. Last week we learned about the creation. The book of Genesis is mostly about how God created the earth and how Adam made a mistake. God then started his magnificent plan to save everyone from Satan. God created a covenant with Abraham. And God told Abraham that he would bless all nations through Abraham's family. Abraham's descendants didn't listen as good as they should have and actually ended up in slavery in Egypt for a bit. So God rescued them and gave them laws to follow to keep them on track. Some people choose to obey the laws and listen to God, and those people were blessed. But others chose to disobey, and they didn't see quite as many blessings. God called the people of Israel to be examples for other nations. Israel was told to show the other nations what God is like. God revealed laws to Moses, and Moses shared the laws with the Israelites. It started with the first ten, the Ten Commandments to be exact. Sadly, the Israelites weren't too great at obeying the laws. Over and over again in the books of Leviticus and Numbers, you see rebellion and disobedience, and then more laws were given. It's a cycle that seemed to go on and on and on. God chose Israel, and the people of Israel didn't listen very well. I'm sure you could relate when you disobey your parents, teachers, or maybe even your babysitter. There are consequences. But God never gave up on Israel, no matter how many times they broke the laws and rebelled. God kept pushing and kept trying because God knew their disobedience came from Satan. God is still fighting for us, even though sometimes we could be like the Israelites and disobey. We live free from all the laws because Jesus died for our sins. We worship and follow God because we are so grateful for His plan to rescue us. We no longer have to sacrifice animals for our sins like they did in the Old Testament because Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice on the cross. God's plan has been in motion since creation and every single thing that happens in our lives is going to lead to something great from God. So now we serve God in a new way, not in the old way, with written rules. Romans 7, 6. Don't forget to submit your video to Faith Kids TV on our Facebook page. Hey guys, we have a visitor with us today, and her name is Yasmina. She's going to hang out here on this side of the island. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. Yasmina was shipwrecked with Amina, our friend from last week. We've each been staying on different sides of the island, but you know, me and Daytona have different rules on this side of the island. Rules? Yeah, so we can't drink near the boat just in case bugs and animals come and we don't want to wreck it. Okay, I guess I should get rid of this then. Oh yeah, and we also can't have phones because we might get hacked. It's a scary island, you know. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 no, no, no! <sighs> we totally could have used that to call for help. Whoopsies. Okay, it's okay, it shouldn't be an issue. But we tolerate zero bullying here and no rudeness. We want everyone to feel welcome, and we want everyone to feel the love of God here. Okay, that is an easy one. We also ask that you don't stand too close to the lighthouse. We want it in a tip-top condition. Oh, maybe I should take a step forward. 
Okay, but do you think you got all those rules? Yeah, but why are there so many? Why can't we just come out and hang on this side of the island? Well, most time rules are made up to keep people safe. The rules here on our side of the island are to keep us safe, and rules at home are to keep you safe. Even the rules at school are in place to keep people or belongings safe. So God created all the laws to keep the Israelites safe? Yes, that's it, exactly. We want God to keep us, the chosen nation of Israel, safe. And God gave them those laws so that they would live long and healthy lives. But they still chose to disobey, and a lot of them suffered because of it. Okay, so we challenge you to take a minute and think about a rule you don't like. Maybe it's wearing your life jacket or not jumping off of furniture. Why do you think that rule was made? Next time you want to disobey a rule, you can ask God to help you understand why that rule was made. A quick and easy prayer can go a very long way. Let's review our big point and memory verse. So our big point was, I am free in Jesus' name. And our memory verse was, so now we serve God in a new way, not in the old way with written rules. Romans 7, 6. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope you learned lots. We learned all about how God never gave up on the Israelites and everything he did could be to keep them safe. And next week, we are going to learn about the prophecies of Jesus in the Old Testament. God's plan may not have made sense to the Israelites then, but we know that God has a plan to save the world and everything he does is done in perfect timing and perfect execution. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Or how about they meet us here because we're the ones that are stuck. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay.